Look at this. That's a nice looking truck. That is my truck. <laughs> guys it's the next day so last night my dad he expected to come in at 10 or 11 o'clock at night and see the truck right away <laughs> <laughs> I told him that was not gonna happen my dad though you got to understand like he plans everything so I've been having a hard time because last night he's like all right so what's the plan when are we going to the hotel who's driving my truck who's where when am I gonna see my truck who's taking who's taking your truck Who's, you know, he's like, he wants to know every single detail. He's the kind of guy who, whenever he goes on a trip, he packs his bag three weeks before the trip, has everything written down, time schedule, and everything. So this is has been complicated trying to figure out how to surprise him with the truck because he has so many questions, it's hard to to get around them. I don't, I'm not a good liar, so. <laughs> so he's like, all right, so which vehicle are we taking? Which vehicle is Hope's taking? How's my truck going to get there? Who's bringing the truck? At what time are they bringing the truck? When am I going to get to see the truck? <laughs> he's been following us around because <laughs> he's been packed for weeks, and yeah. here we are packing last second. But I pulled the camera out in the truck the other day, and I said, we need to tell the story, so I'm going to video. And he's like, what do you mean, a uh, story? What what kind of story are we telling? And I was like, no, Dad, we got to tell the story of, like, so the audience understands, like, what's going on. Uh, this is something that we as YouTubers have to do. You might not notice, but we have to do things like this to kind of explain the scene. And um, he has no idea. He's completely <laughs> ob oblivious. He's like, oh, I thought I was just going to go see my truck and drive it home. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try to get the cooler scooter. And I don't think it's going to be much of a surprise, but we're still trying to surprise him. But it's hard to uh, surprise somebody who has to know every detail. Check that out. That's a good way for an old man to get around, huh? I think we'll try to take that if I can get it running. So the plan is, to let you guys know, the plan is to go find a parking spot at the car show, put out some chairs, and my dad, me, and Hope just sit there, and then we're going to have Josh drive the truck past and see if he notices. And if he doesn't, we'll just keep driving it past until he does notice. A lot of you guys... Is he out there? A lot of you guys um, wanted us to put it in the show and then have him walk around it and not know that it was it was his truck but that's he's gonna know as soon as he sees it from a mile away that it's his truck it's just pretty obvious but uh if we're just sitting there like twiddling our thumbs not paying attention maybe he will be surprised as it drives by that's the plan we'll see how it works out first i got to get this thing started Car. I picked up this old man and now we're headed 
headed back to Tennessee. What old man? That old man in the back. Oh. Not you. <laughs> We're headed back to Tennessee. We're about to go through Nashville, and I, or my dad, have never had Nashville hot chicken. So I think we're going to make a little pit stop at Hattie B's. What do you think it's going to be like? Do you think it's going to be like super spicy? Sounds like it's going to be good. I hope it's super spicy. <laughs> he really likes the spicy stuff. So we're going to do that. We'll head back and then we're going to hit the car show tomorrow. All right. Oh, man. All right, he got the super, super, super spicy one. You gotta tell me if it's too hot. No heat at all. <laughs> pump would you like to stop at? <laughs> oh, any pump? How about number 358 here? <laughs> and of course, you can't pass by Bucky's without stopping, so we gotta go take a look. My dad's never been to a Bucky's. What do you think? 3,000 gas pumps. <laughs> I've never seen so many. They don't have these in Arkansas, huh? No, they don't. <laughs> Max of two gas pumps yeah, per and station? Yeah, and one, one of them's rusted. <laughs> wow. What do you want to see, old man? <laughs> He doesn't get out a lot. <laughs> Everybody's headed to the car show. All right, let's get back to it. We got about an hour and a half to go. All right, guys, we are set up out here. We're actually one day early. People are already starting to park their cars out on the side of the strip here, all down the strip. But we've got rain in the forecast and we might have to delay things a little bit till tomorrow because I don't want to do this reveal. I don't want to do this reveal in the rain because that would be terrible. The audio would be terrible. So we'll see what happens here. We're going to go eat some lunch. A few moments later. So we're out here in the rain checking things out, waiting for tomorrow for it to get sunny. Cars are starting to show up. Check all these things out. <laughs> Do you? Could use some work. Definitely could use some work. Alright guys, we're getting close. The old man is getting antsy. You can see him back there. Every five seconds he's saying, When's Josh going to be here? When's Hope going to be here? When are we going to go look at cars? What's going on? When am I going to get to see my truck? <laughs> it's close. It's close. <laughs> so the law stopped by. They said we couldn't have any shade. <laughs> shade is not allowed here in Pigeon Forge. Yes. Apparently everybody has to get skin cancer out here. Oh my goodness. What is going on? We're trying to wrangle my dad. My dad is uh, ADD or something, <laughs> and he's just ditched. Josh is about ready to bring the truck, but my dad is nowhere to be found. He went that way. So this is gonna be really hard to surprise him and get it on video because uh, we can't wrangle him. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Uh-oh, I lost him. So Josh is on his way, but uh, we're having a dilemma where we don't even know where my dad is now. So he might see the truck driving around and we won't catch it on video because my dad just disappeared. He's like a tiny little child. He's like two or three year old. I, he's not anxious about seeing the truck. He's just anxious about sitting still. He wants to, he wants to go, go, go. He wants to walk the strip <laughs> and he likes a plan. He's like A, B, C, D, this is what we're doing. And just sitting around doing just whatever is not okay. There he is. Oh, he's coming. Yay! Tell Josh to speed it up. We're looking silly out here. It's fine. People are laughing just, at us. We're showing my tundra. I mean, this is a nice tundra. 
Look at that trap. That's nice. There's a CJ. CJ5. You like that? Look at this. Look at that truck. That's a nice looking truck. There's Josh. That is my truck. That is my truck. Oh man. I drive this thing out of here and let him park in a parking spot. Let's pull it over here. We got a parking spot right here. <laughs> Here, switch over to this one, babe. What do you Look think of that, old that. man? Oh, man, that is <laughs> nice. You took a shower before you got in this, didn't you? Oh, I got sweaty before I got in this. <laughs> <laughs> KC's old school. I like that. Oh, that is so neat. I love those wheels. Let's pull it over there actually so we can walk around it without being crowded. Okay. This isn't the same color, is it? Nope. Nope. That is nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Oh man, I love that, those wheels and tires. Let oh, me show it off to you, old man. Those wheels are so nice. You did a good job. Thank you. How you doing, Ron? Doing good. Good. What we wanted to do was keep it looking uh, factory, but still like it had some upgrades, but 90s upgrades, so no, nothing new. So everything that you see on it has that tubular style from the 90s. You mean older like me. Yes. <laughs> very old. We wanted to keep that original OEM look but still have uh, an upgraded look to it. They're telling us that it's OEM plus is what they're calling it. OEM so we've got plus. this uh, this tube bumper. We kept the original bumper. Everything is powder coated to match so it's got this um, it's called Cadillac Gray. We've got uh, KC lights up front. KC lights on the top. <laughs> Did a complete tune-up underneath here new cap and rotor we looked at the engine compression test and everything was fine so we didn't yeah. we didn't rebuild the motor oh, i never had any problems oh got me a nice battery got you an optima battery in there that is cool and check this out you remember your batman <laughs> we replaced it because it was a uh, rotten but we've got you a led light in there same batman thing <laughs> that is cool that is cool. All the compression turned out, did a tune-up, and you adjusted the valve? Yeah. The valves? Were they out of adjustment? Bad? Just no. Barely. They were really close. You remember this was burnt? Had a dent, it, dent in it from where I... Yeah, so that's new. We also got uh, Holly to sponsor some new headlights. So these look like regular halogen light bulbs, but these are new LED light bulbs. Oh, great. But if you ever wanted to put your original ones back in there, all the wiring is still there. Hold on a minute. What's this? That's we'll a, show you that in a minute. You, you can't look at that yet. <laughs> Over here, we've got uh, Milestar Patagonia tires, brand new tires on Raceline wheels. And we went ahead and went through everything. Underneath, we re-geared the entire truck with 488 gears from Yukon and Red Scorpion is who installed those for us. They did an awesome job. It drives really nice, actually, whenever you, uh, it's got more oomph right off the gate, but whenever you're going 65 down the highway, it still feels nice. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's lagging at all. Yeah, I had a, because I put the bigger tires and I had those smaller gears, I had a power band was completely off. Yeah, so that's, where, it's it's completely back to factory now. So we did oh the math man, and 488. Good. 480 is U, what I needed. Yukon gears is what you needed. Wow. 
in the in the uh, speedometer is probably more correct, isn't it? Yeah, I would think so. They don't make any aftermarket way to fix the speedometer. Oh, that's so all right. I, you, off, I know what 55 is like. <laughs> we rebuilt everything front and rear on the um, like seals, gears. What else, Josh? All the suspension's new, so new ball joints, new tie rod ends, uh, motor mounts, bearings. transmission mount. Yeah, every bearing in this thing, every seal, every transmission mount, motor mount, every rubber piece is all brand new. I, you Big couldn't bonus. have got nicer looking wheels. Those are fantastic looking wheels. So the wheels are powder coated to match the rest. We've got Bushwhacker fender flares, Those just like so you want nice. So nice. Those are actually, uh, they're plastic, so these are painted to match the powder coat. And then we have uh, the Nerf bar steps with some tread on them. That's cool. They were, that was slippery when it was raining. That is so nice. Oh, we have Bilstein shocks all around, so the best you can get. And we replaced the entire exhaust front to back. Yeah, I had an exhaust leak that was a little nauseous. So we gave the, the rear end a uh, I think a one inch lift of, of what it was. These Toyotas all want to scoot a little bit down in the back. <laughs> so on the on the top we've got oh, a custom bar. A custom that, roof rack for you. That is nice. That is super nice. That's a lot nicer than the one I had. Yeah, that's tied into the top and the top is uh, completely repainted to match the truck. I can see that. <laughs> that is so nice. KC lights up top, those are tied in underneath to be stout. I can't Come. wait to flip them boogers on. So the back, we, I wanted to keep the stock look, so I kept the yeah, bumper. That's great. But we uh, powder coated it to match as well. We've got wow. KC lights for reverse, backup? for oh, backup lights. Oh, great, that's what I needed. Even your receiver hitch is powder coated to match. Let's open this up. Oh, wow, look at this. Let's pull this out. Oh, oh look at this. So we've got uh, line X all over the interior to match the paint. And then your bed slide slides out and you can grab all your tools that you've got. Including those. <laughs> wow. This, you were asking about tools on your way back. You wanted to buy some. But this is a Red Dog tool kit and it's custom made for a 91 Toyota. Oh, system. really? every tool that you need to completely disassemble this truck right inside here. Oh man, that's the one I'll be using the most. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> A flashlight. So everything in the this? back here is red and black. We color match that oh, so you've got a flashlight. Beautiful. This is so beautiful. Right up there you've got a rough country air compressor and so this a built-in one? A built-in air compressor. So this ties in right here, you plug it in, and then there's a switch on the inside, which I'll show you, that uh, turns that on. Oh, I can get to all four tires. <laughs> Just have to touch. Yep, that'll reach all four tires. Right here, we have a rough country refrigerator and freezer. <laughs> so you can put all your Cokes in there and your snacks. That is so neat. Is, is it hardwired in or? Yep. How, how does... There's actually a chain. You see that chain right right there? That chain rolls up whenever you put it in and it just doesn't get trapped or anything. Fire extinguisher. Nice, super nice. These are trays just to hold anything I want to put in there. Yeah, so now you won't put anything in the bed. You'll just put everything on this or in the trays. That is super nice. Also, check this out. All you gotta do is touch that and it lights up the back for you. That is so cool. I think pretty much every bulb in this truck's been upgraded. Like on your dash, those are all LEDs now. Bulbs back in the yeah, you won't in the see instrument it. panel and stuff. You won't see it until nighttime, but uh, everything has been color matched on the inside of, of the bulbs to be blue to match the truck. <laughs> uh, when I would drive at night, uh, I couldn't really see the dash that well because I needed a brighter light. Is that going to be a little brighter? It's a lot brighter right. now. And check this out. You click it twice and it turns blue. <laughs> you get a little mood lighting. I was just driving around at night like that. I mean, obviously. <laughs> you just yeah. keep holding it and wherever you let it go, it'll lock.
Well, wow, you guys did a great job on this thing. <laughs> I never expected it to be this nice. Tell them about this. So there's a little detail. This one I'll, I'll give to Josh. So you see those uh, tail lights right there? Those are from a Hilux. So oh, yours, Toyota Hilux? Yeah, yours were, were flush right there. They needed to be replaced. But these were a little upgrade for the Hilux version, <laughs> which gives you a little cool factor. Now I got to remember all this whenever people ask me. <laughs> we'll go over it a couple times. You got all new uh, mud flaps. Oh, good. So on the back here, you remember you had those ugly chrome caps. Yeah. So what I did was I took a front hub and I put it on the back and I epoxied it so that it would be completely flush but match the front and back so that you didn't have two different looks front and back. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Let's take a look on the inside here. Uh, oh, you put me some new seats in. <laughs> that is nice. Over here we've got... Um, oh, I've got a new radio. You've got a new radio. You've got new seat cover. Oh, and you like have, these seats. What do you think about this? You have a cup holder now. <laughs> well, I know what's going in there. <laughs> yeah, that is great with a cup holder. I put all of your uh, all of your old man stuff back up here, <laughs> but I got new visor things to match instead of those uh, tan ones that you oh, had. Oh man, With that is so nice. That actually stay up in there. Somebody polished my. I polished these for you, and look at we did an inlay in your favorite color. Look at that. <laughs> Custom fit floorboards. And then oh, uh, yeah. floor mats on top of that. Holy cow. Check this out. Hop back out. Little things you'll find like this clock. Clock? The clock. It was never there before. Yeah. But that was I'm... off an SR5. We found one on eBay. That's an upgrade from a, a higher model Toyota than this was. So if you pull the seat forward, oh, we've got you a custom this. bag to hold uh, anything you'd like there. That is super nice. So check this out. You had all these old books. You had several of them. Yeah, that I kept track of. Uh... So I took that and put it in this <laughs> in this book for you. And I glued everything that you had before, and then we even added all the new stuff. So if you forget, everything is listed. Oh, great! In here great. for you. Now, wait till Nellie sees this. Your seat belts were sent off to Seat Belt, seat belt Planet. <laughs> and uh, they completely redid the seat belts. It's all the same hardware, but it's new belt material. And then there's another bag up front here for oh, you. Oh, I can carry a lot of gear on this now. So Josh is an audio oh. file. So he uh, upgraded your stereo. You now have a, an amplifier and a new stereo system along with some subs back here. So you'll be, you'll be booming. <laughs> To your tunes. I like it that. It needs adjusted. That is so nice. So uh, you'll be able to play uh, Bluetooth or your phone, or your, it's got a CD player for. On the way here, he said, "I need something tangible in my hand for music. I don't want to play it through my phone." So it's got CD in there. So still. I can still play my CD tapes in there, my CDs in there. Yeah. That is so cool. How did you? Oh yeah. So right here, we've got you a, a Vo switch. A what? A VO switch. So this controls everything. This is your your bumper lights, your roof rack lights. This is to turn on and off your refrigerator, your backup lights. This is for your air. So both of these will work. You turn these on at the same time for your air compressor. And then press and hold that one there. The horn? Yeah. <laughs> La cucaracha. <laughs> I know my tunes. I know my horn tunes. <laughs> we got you with just what you wanted, the cucaracha horn. That is fantastic. A lot of your hardware was faded, so we've got new hardware in the right color. Yeah, these were off. The handles and the door locks. Yeah, so the, the front bumper is completely custom, but it was supposed to fit a uh, Dodge truck, the, the bull bar, push bar. That is really fantastic. Had a big dent in the, in the back bumper. Did y'all knock that out or something? We got a new back bumper. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the whole truck, the whole truck had dents, and Josh did an awesome job getting all those dents out and then painting. The whole truck is repainted. 
and really? more jams every I thought that looked a little, a little smoother. I had a dent in the very top uh -huh. where I got mad when boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get mad at this truck anymore. No, no. What size tires are those? 31s. 31s? Yeah. They look bigger than my, my 31s. Oh, yeah. I knew that you uh, carry kayaks yeah. up here all the time, and this wouldn't carry them, so I made custom mounts. They're not here, but there's a custom mount that'll bolt here and here, and you'll be able to carry two kayaks oh, at a that's time great. on top of your truck. That'll be great. <laughs> wow. Give Don't me a hug, like Bird. Yeah, I like the, this deal on it. I want to sit over here. I want you to drive her around the parking lot. Okay. You're going to take her for a spin. So remember how your, your door locks and things wouldn't work? It was just the key. Yeah. The key was just old. Oh, really? Yeah. The AC did work. I was using it on the way over. It was nice, but you lose half the horsepower when you run it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's probably it why it didn't come with a lot of horsepower. No. So we got we got your AC working for you. Oh, great. I forgot I even had air conditioning. I haven't had it in so long. <laughs> Oh, I'm sitting higher, too. I'm sitting a lot higher. Oh, this is so nice, Matt. He wishes he had this car. <laughs> Did you see when we were doing the walk around, a Toyota pulled in, was checking it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why don't you move your truck and let me pull this in? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna be scared to leave this here at night. <laughs> so that's something else that we got for you. We'll show you that here in a minute. A theft deterrent? Yeah. Oh, great. I was hoping you'd do something like that too. I, I never thought it'd be this nice. I hope Nellie likes it. Oh, she is going to be amazed. Great, great job. I love the horn. Yeah. <laughs> that radio sounds really nice. Yeah. It's got some bass and... Uh, Josh is obsessed with music, so... What, what is this? Is that so, a tweeter? No, that is uh, for whenever you're, you've got your phone connected to Bluetooth, you won't have to pick up your phone to talk to Nelly. You can just talk and it'll go through there. You're kidding me. I can't wait for me and Nelly to go somewhere on it. Oh, even that's brighter. As of yesterday morning, this thing was perfect beautifully dis detailed it hadn't seen rain yet then i drug it out here behind my truck yesterday and it rained the whole way so it was filthy it was just brown <laughs> covered in dirt so i went back home came back out this morning took it to the car wash washed it and then went over wiped it all down again with some detailer and cleaned it up real good well up until two days ago it only had 25 miles on it since we uh, started working on it and then i put a few miles on it getting it here but uh, i think he likes it Needless to say, dirty or not, I think he likes it.
He's making sure their seats aren't as nice as his seats. <laughs> You need one of those for your Toyota? No. Well, that was fun. We didn't film a whole lot of that because there was music going, but that was the indoor car show section at the LeConte Center where all the fancy $100,000 cars were. What was your favorite uh, car, old man? That Dodge Charger. I mean, no, the Dodge, 67 Dodge RT. 67 Dodge RT. I think my favorite was that green truck car. We don't even know what it was, but it was awesome. Lots of money goes into those cars. We're gonna go find something else to do. Maybe stop by the truck, see if there's any people looking at it tonight. And we'll see you guys in a sec. So I wish we could have got our cooler scooter working. There's a cooler scooter, but we've been reduced to bicycles. This isn't bad, but the old man, I don't know how well he can ride a bicycle. Don't fall off. Just call me Joe Biden. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll follow you. <laughs> oh, old man. You got this? Got it. That's where we're headed, right there, the Alcatraz Museum. You think they'll take you? Uh, they may remember me. Say hello to my little friend. Fun. It's almost dark. What do you want to do now, old man? I want to see if I can make it back home. Make it back to the car. Without crashing? Yeah. I think I want to push my bicycle until I get across the street. Finally made it back. Glad you could finally join us. Boy, those are some curvy roads we were on. <laughs> get used to that power band being a little different. All right, so he made it back. I have to go take pictures my daughter has prom tonight, so I'm going to take pictures for her for that. And then we're going to hit the road again tomorrow and check out and see what my old man thinks about this truck. Alright guys, it's the next day. Beautiful day out today. In a few days, my dad is going to take this truck back home with him 600 miles all the way to northwest Arkansas. So, until then, we're going to take a little test drive. We're going to see how he likes it. And uh, if we find any other issues, we only have probably 40 miles on this thing since the complete rebuild. So we want to make sure everything's good. We're also going to get some pictures and get his take on what he thinks about it. What do, what do you think so far? I love it. <laughs> I love it so far. So far it hasn't uh, fallen apart. <laughs> so that's a plus. <laughs> I didn't think about this armrest. What did you do before the armrest? You just dang dangled your arm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no armrest. It's nice having an armrest. Uh, it's just real nice. There was a 
video that Jason from Engineering Explained did a long time ago that said how you shouldn't rest your arm on the, the gear shift because it puts extra pressure on the transmission. What do you think about that? I think he's full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> this linkage isn't going to uh, feel any, bring anything down to the transmission. It's, uh, it sounds like something you see on YouTube. <laughs> You heard it from the old man. <laughs> what do you think about all those people lined up behind you? Well, I don't think about them. They can just stay behind me. <laughs> like I said, the, one, the nicest thing about this truck is that I've got the correct power band back that I missed when I put those bigger tires on and didn't change gears. I feel like I've got about 50 more horsepower. It's just, I've got power all through the power band now. Well, you had stock gears. I think they were 355s or something. And I did the math, and we went up to 488 gears. And everybody on the internet said that that was way out of spec. But no, if you actually do the math, that's right where it should be. And uh, we had, had Red Scorpion, Tennessee do the gears so you can thank them for that they did a good job take it right here way to go Corey Everything. I don't hear any noise or grinding so I guess you did a good job in there yeah you did <laughs> what I like about it though is when you put it in low range uh, it's got a little bit more crawl ability not that you're gonna be crawling anywhere but no. Even if you need, just need some more some more torque for whatever reason, you can put it in four-wheel drive, and since you don't have your front hubs locked, you're still in two-wheel drive low range. So this highway that we're driving right now, Highway 116, and there's two others that make what they call the Devil's Triangle. And the Devil's Triangle is kind of like the dragon in North Carolina. It's where a lot of people come in bikes and in fast cars, Lamborghinis, and drive this as quickly as possible, or just for fun. People come in convertibles all the time and drive this because there's so many curves, so many beautiful overlooks, and uh, there's no guardrails, which is my dad has been uh, kind of yes. concerned about. So you have to be on your toes for sure. But it's a really neat, beautiful drive. And on a Monday like today, there's hardly any traffic out here. It's nice and enjoyable. And scary. <laughs> All along the right side here of 116, the Devil's Triangle, is Windrock property. So. There's a lot of trails that take off on this side that you can you can just drive off into if you'd like to get into Windrock property as long as you've got your pass. But I don't think we'll be doing any off-roading today. You want to do some off-roading? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Not in my truck. <laughs> All right. No off-roading for us. I don't like getting dirt on. Are you going to fill up your spare tank yeah. too? I'm going to fill them both up. Uh oh. Then this, I can go across the country. This thing's about to get a lot heavier with, uh, what is it, 40 gallons total? Yeah, about. This is how I lose my gas cap. <laughs> we need to make you a little, a yeah. little plate right those there. Little holders. So he's got a gas filler here and a gas filler there for the second tank. How much is that second tank? It's about 15. 15? Yeah. Surely it's more than that. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe more. All right. If you're ever in the area, make sure to stop by Ginger's right here, right off of the Devil's Triangle. It's about a mile or two off, but she's about the only place out here that keeps regular hours and stays open. So give her a shout. Fill up with some gas and buy you a hamburger while you're here.
So we've got 22 gallons. The main tank was half full already, so what would that be? Probably 30 gallons total. It's quite a lot for a little tiny truck yeah. that doesn't uh, have bad gas mileage to start with. Any final thoughts now that you got to drive this thing around for a little while and see what it can do? Well, I just love it. Never had a car like this before. It's fixed up so nice. Uh, just can't wait to get home and put a chair in front of it, sit it in front of my garage and drink a beer and just watch the truck. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a Mona Lisa hanging on the wall. He's probably going to get it home and fill it like a pack rat with all kinds of survival <laughs> I'm gonna gear. I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do that for it's, sure. It's going to end up weighing 500 more pounds than it does now. <laughs> all right. Well, are you ready to take it to Windrock and do some off-roading now? No, no. <laughs> I'm ready to take it home only when it's not raining. Well, the guys on the YouTubes really wanted you to go off-roading. No, nah, I don't want to. Don't want to put a dent in it or get it dirty. <laughs> My dad told me to always take care of things, not to tear them all up. Well, you told me the same thing, and I, I guess I just didn't listen to <laughs> I you. I guess you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. If you didn't see all of the build episodes, there were 12 episodes of this build. So go back and watch them from the beginning. Some really good stuff there. And, as always, huge shout out to our Patreons right over there. This channel wouldn't be the same without those guys. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon, check it out at patreon.com slash bleepinjeep. Otherwise, you can buy some t-shirts and bleepin' jeep merch on bleepinjeep.com. We'll see you guys next time. I'll check those out. These are new. Bleepin' jeep sunglasses. <laughs> Say adios. Adios. <laughs> Turn your bottom ones on. Oh yeah, now we're lighting up the whole neighborhood. Yeah.